I'm going to do an infinity ring for a soul. Oh, look at that terrible lighting. Never mind. I'll show you a picture when the lighting's better. One of the things I do with my hair dryer is rather than hold the cold button on, because fundamentally it's the air we want, um, and the heat does help the drying process of the ink, but holding the cold button prevents the paper from the yopo from bending and blah blahing. So what I do is I get paint tape, hold it in, wind, 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 and then I don't have to break my finger off while I'm doing that um, ring. And just before I get onto process, because of course I'm not going to be um, talking at all and have some music on in the background because the hair dryer noise is really, really yuck. So I'm going to be putting my ink around this spot here and then I will be bringing my hair dryer down around the inked area like that, not directly over it. So the pressure of the air coming out is what causes the effect. And so if it's over the ink, it pushes outwards like that. But if it's around the outside, you'll see. And I'm gonna be that close, really a finger away from the Yupo. Um, so that's how I do mine. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Oh, and the colors that I'm using, I'm gonna be just putting a puddle of um, isoprofen down. Then I'll be doing one dot of the gold. That'll be last. I better do it in order. I'm gonna do one dot of turquoise, one drop of cool peri, one drop of pearl, and one drop of rich gold and just see how that goes. All right, I'm gonna tape up my hair dryer and let's go for this. And here we go with our first pour. And the mistake that I make straight away that I didn't realize is that I'm on photograph paper. So just take note to how clumsily the ink, well not clumsily, but it's just not moving smoothly as you can see. Um, the ring's jagged, see how that bit just shot out there like a little fish nose. But I continue to go through with it just so that we can see the difference between how it goes on photograph paper and how it goes on Yupo. So there we go. And I'm like, oh, but we got some nice ring effects. And now I think I get Yupo and I change color into the purple and see how the alcohol ran backwards. I realized I needed to tape my cardboard board down. So I did that now just quickly and see how the puddles now sitting much stiller. So around and around I go and I was going a bit too enthusiastically fast to begin with. Um, so I'm just going at a nice controlled pace. By the way, this video is on times three. Um, I Oh, by the way, did you see that little squash that I put in the middle where I put the hairdryer down and let the alcohol push all the way out? Um, that was just to show you how it can go out of control if you're not going around the edging. This infinity ring um, is on an A4 piece and I had just come from using an A3 piece so I'd used way too much alcohol for this sizing but you know once again continue to try and get the effect because this video is about learning and about seeing what things we can do better so that we can get a fabulous outcome first time. So around and around I go and the ink and alcohol went out of control at the beginning because there was too much in the puddle but I've got it coming into control now and soon when I tip it up you'll see some gorgeous lines. I think I've potted off to go and get some leafing paper because I wanted to show you that when you stick the leafing paper on the top of alcohol when it's still got that sticky residual you can get some awesome effects. So I'm pulling it off now and now I'm just going to let that sit in the middle and as you can see it's taken to the sticky parts of the ink and um, I come back later I think and just sort of scrape it off further and it's just really cool how you can get that extra bit of an effect. 
So now we're changing color again and see that puddle of alcohol, much better sizing and just one drop of the orange and one drop of the red and two drops of the gold because God, I can't stop myself with those sparkles. And off we go, nice and far away from the ring, close to the UPO paper, allowing the pressure of the air to really dictate the swirl and seeing the effects of the ring coming in now, lovely light wispy colors with lines of gold uh, within it. And um, I think I decided to add a drop of alcohol, yep, into the middle of this one, just so that we can see the differences of the center of a infinity ring not being highly saturated. Um, and it was, you know, just another idea in terms of what we can do. And in a moment, we flip this over and start again with yet another ring. Oh, that's right. I decide to put the colors into the alcohol and pour straight onto the Yupo paper so that you can see how it goes with it all being in the one cup. And I like this effect. Um, it, you know, it was just really nice. All of them are nice. Um, and here we go round and round and round and round and round and round and the ink now starting to dry and me pulling it over to try and get that rose shape on this one rather than just the circle and trying to bring the center offside so it's not smack bang in the middle and continually pulling the hairdryer close to the yuppo paper but not on top of the ink so it can just really get that opportunity to become wispy and not fly across the UPO paper like we've seen in some of the other experiments that this quick video shows us. Oh, I'm out of breath from all of that chattering. So what do you reckon? I hope this helps you. Here we go. We're going to have a look at some of them all, oh, all of them now. So there's the golds all sparkling through. We've got some really great lines. Scraping off more, just using a, scraping off more of the gold foil, just using a bristle, raw bristle brush and just showing you how you can remove that. And I run out of patience, but was just giving you the general gist of how you can add extra onto your gold.